Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and the Toshiba Satellite U845-S406. All right, hold on a second. I'm just, you know what? These are pretty boring, right? These are boring laptops. I'm not going to hide it, and you shouldn't hide it, because this holiday season, let's face it, we're seeing a lot of Ultrabooks and a lot of budget Ultrabooks. It's getting numbing. Even for us here that review laptops, it's kind of crazy. For about $700 to $800, which, by the way, is not cheap for a laptop, but it's cheap for an Ultrabook, you can get... These 13, 14 inch laptops with hard drives as opposed to SSDs, 500 gigabytes, 4 gigs of RAM. You go down the numbers, they all kind of have about the same processor inside, Intel Core i5, and they perform pretty similarly. So, what's the difference? Well, very, very fine points and details. It's kind of like netbooks were a couple of years ago. You basically have to play with them, see if you like the keyboard, see if you like the trackpad, see if the weight feels right. When it comes to this Toshiba Satellite U845, it's in the gray zone. It's kind of neither here nor there. The price, $879 is the MSRP. You might find it for lower. Hopefully you can because I think a laptop like this probably deserves to be more in the $750 to $799 range. $879 feels pretty high. And what you get is a Core i5 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive. I'm falling asleep here as I talk about this because you've seen this over and over and over again. And it does not have an optical drive because Ultrabooks don't have optical drives. That was a great idea when Ultrabooks were really thin. But this laptop, it's thinner. It's not really thin. Um, what does that mean? Who knows what that means? For you, it probably means it's going to feel like a regular laptop, but sort of a thinner one. But it's not going to feel razor thin like a MacBook Air because it isn't. 3.7 pounds is lighter than a 13-inch MacBook Pro, for instance, or one of those laptops. These laptops kind of piss me off because, and they might piss you off because you are paying up for something that's no longer quite in the super thin Ultrabook spec. But you're going to see a lot of these this holiday. Does it perform well? It performs well. You know, it's fine. The performance is actually pretty similar to all the others with the Core i5 uh, processor that this one has. Battery life is five and a half hours, which is good. You know, there are others that are better, seven hours. The screen quality, not so good. The keyboard quality, mm, I didn't like it that much, but it's backlit. The trackpad seemed a little bit finicky and a little bit sticky to click. Uh, for something like this, I really want all that stuff to be aces if I'm going to be buying into this sort of middle-range laptop. If you're desperate and you find that this is the laptop that's available for you to purchase, it will do you fine. It'll work like a regular old laptop, except you won't be able to put DVDs inside and it's only got integrated graphics. So there you go. This is the Toshiba Satellite U845 S406. You can get one for less that has a Core i3 processor, which we didn't review, and perform a little bit more slowly. I'm Scott Stein, and forgive me for not being tremendously excited about the Toshiba Satellite U845 S406.